Hey guys, welcome to Matt. Today I will show you the techniques of making calligraphy or word art digitally using Infinite Painter. Before that, let me create the canvas. You can directly write the ratios or slide the scale to adjust the canvas size. At first, I will change the background color to black. You can use texture. You can adjust the depth, the opacity or the scale of the texture. Tap on this bar and you can find many already available textures here. I will not use texture right now so I just turned off the option. As I have taken black as background color so I am taking white color for lettering. For the perfect measurement use grid for lettering. You can get it from the tool section. You can see the area of one square is quite bigger. So I will drag it to adjust. Take the brush you want for calligraphy as Infinite Painter provides so many brushes. In fact there is a segment of calligraphy brush. So you can choose your brush from there also. As of now I am taking old inker. Turn off the snap and lock your grid to start. Anytime you can zoom your layer by tapping and holding it. For each word I will use different layer so that it might be easier for me to make any kind of further changes. You can make a calligraphy over your sketchbook and then take a picture of that. Then you can import the picture from your gallery to this app and can use it as another layer. In my next word I want a B which will look exactly opposite to the D I have written here. So I will copy the layer of the word stand and flip it. Tap on the layer you will get an option to duplicate and transform the layer. Here you will get to flip the canvas. I will flip the canvas and it is the other letters. Transform your layer by tapping on it. I will transform the size. Actually, it will not be perfect at one attempt. Practice typography many times and you will automatically realize the result becomes far better. Okay, so this is complete. Now I will merge the layers. You may add colors to each letter like this.
you can add picture to the background you can go to any free site and take a matching picture to the lettering i will draw a background picture in my previous videos i have shared how to draw over infinite painter you can check the tutorials Use vertical symmetry to get a mirror image. Look at this. I am drawing on one side of the symmetry line, but whatever I am doing on this side, I am getting a mirror image replica on the other side.
So that's it. Now save and export your digital art. You can export it in many formats. You can directly share the image to other apps also. If you find my video is supportive, please subscribe my channel, like the video, share it and hey, don't forget to comment about your experience on digital art. Thank you, stay healthy, see you in the next video.